everything everything comes down to <clears throat> what I'll call your frame. You can call it perspective. Um, you can call it whatever you want, but it really is a, a lens or a frame through which you view the world. And, and an example sometimes, like if I'm if I'm speaking or talking and uh, trying to explain it, is like it, I'll ask an audience, like. Who here feels like $50,000 is a lot of money? Is everyone raises their hands. A few people who know what, what we're doing, they don't raise their hands. But most of the audience, like 50,000 bucks is a lot of money because the frame that they're currently in um, is one of, to be honest, like limitation or they're playing a little smaller. And then I'll change the question and I'll say, imagine that you, you, know, you are... Uh, unable to work, you're in a catastrophic accident, and $50,000 is the amount of money you have to last the rest of your life. Who here feels like $50,000 is a lot of money? Nobody raises their hand. The frame changed, and therefore the answer changed. And life is just like that. Life is the same way. Like, depending on the frame you have, and frame comes from exposure, frame comes from people. Like, everything I tell people, everything starts in the mind. And it's funny how majority of society does not want to believe that. They don't want to accept it <clears throat> because if they accept it, that means that it's not the president's fault. You know, that means it's not capitalism's fault. It means that all of the excuses and the things that we've used to incubate ourselves from responsibility no longer work. And the, the best part about what I get to do and, and no doubt, like I already know it's, this is the best part of what you get to do as well. Like you probably enjoy this way more than the money, way more than anything else is unlocking someone's frame, seeing their eyes change and like, oh my goodness. You're right. Like I can do this. And sometimes all it takes, like everybody prioritizes the lesson, the knowledge, teach me the tactic, Justin, like show me how you're doing this. But it, what it really is, is it's the cup of coffee before the event even starts where one sentence is said, and it's like, oh my God, it changes the frame for my entire life. And the only way you can get that is through proximity. It's, there's an energy to it. Um, and that's my favorite part of the game. Um, uh, it's my favorite part of the game because it's so simple and it's so difficult. It's both ends. You know what I mean? Totally. And it's funny because I think that most people don't even realize what they look what they're looking for. Like they show up thinking they want one thing and they That's realize right. pretty quickly it's something totally <laughs> different, right? And with some people it's hard for them to mentally justify a big expense. Like for me, I've invested in myself my whole life. I've spent, you know, I mean, easily over a million dollars. I had one coach that was $250,000 to coach uh, with him for the year. And my friends thought I was crazy, but that $250,000 investment netted me significantly more. I mean, it was been, it's been an exponential return and, and playing the big game, the long game, uh, it's easy to see that playing the short game. It's like, wow, like you could say, 50,000 or 250,000 is a lot of money or it's a little money, but what's the value? Like what value do you get? What, what's the return on that? If you can spend $50,000 and truly buy your time back, is that worth it? I think most people would say, yeah, yeah. if you can spend $50,000 and make $2 million in you know a year or two, is that worth it? And so it's, again, it, it's changing the frame, as you said, but it's being in a place uh, where you eliminate the scarcity of holding on, where you feel like, oh, I can't lose this money. I can't, I can't let go right. of it. You know, th this is so much money versus like, hey, how do I use this wealth that I have to take things to the next level? You know, how, how can I be a little more abundant and think, well, hey, I might lose this $50,000, um, but I'm, but I'm going to learn some lessons along the way that are going to help me make much more than that in the future. Uh, and, and really, that's it. Because once you get to the point where it's like, hey, money's not finite. I can go make more if I need to. Or I can connect with other people that make 50000 a lot easier than I make 50000 So I can learn their playbook. So I can copy it the rest of my life. I mean, that's the game changer, right? 100%. You, you've also got self-fulfilling prophecies in there. And this is something that I think people have to realize is if you make a decision based on $50,000 being a lot of money, $50,000 is always going to be a lot of money for you because you're making decisions that are validating a frame. And sometimes the fastest way, and I'm not advising and neither are you, we're not advising to go off buy a Ferrari just because you want to change your frame. But sometimes you have to realize, hold on a minute, 
the vantage point from which I'm making this decision is going to validate a vantage point that I no longer want to live in. So it's, it's hilarious. Like people will they'll get on the phone with our reps or whatever. And they're like, man, I'm only making, you know, $200,000 a year. And I'm sick and tired of only making $200,000 a year. They're like, well, the, the, for proximity to us, it's 25K. And they're like, oh my God, I can't afford 25K. Well, you're making a decision from a, a circumstance that you said you're sick and tired of being stuck in. And so your choices are validating the current reality perpetually forever. And sometimes the fastest way to break through that is you get into a position that you want to be in and you say, what would I make the decision on if I was at this, if I was making a million, if I was making 1.5, 25K wouldn't be as big of a deal. And you can behave your way into a, into a certain frame. You can behave your way into feeling a certain way and you can behave your way into circumstances. And so self-fulfilling prophecy is a big deal here because uh, people stay stuck because they can't make decisions outside of the scope of their current circumstances, which makes it perpetual. It just spins and spins and spins.